Brothers and sisters are as close as hands and feet. Don't you agree? <laughs> no, Harry knows I have his back. Be careful, Emily. Sometimes it's the one closest to you. You're cold. He wanted to bribe your heart with an iPhone like a sugar daddy. Hey, Emily. Emily. And if she was my sister, I'd be proud. She's lucky that Mia had her notes for the midterms. Harry, what are you... Brothers and sisters are as close as hands and feet. Don't you agree? I thought that was the case with me and Harry when he came back from the hospital. But when I think about it now, we shared parents, a home, celebrations, and we know each other's hearts and secrets. I was happy to have Harry back in my life again. But now he feels like a stranger to me. M, lemonade or iced tea? Coca-Cola. I know that look on your face. I'm fine. Uh-huh. Tell that to your diary. <sighs> Have you seen Harry today? Harry? I do think he came to uni today. Then how are we supposed to hang out at the arcade today, which, by the way, was his idea? <sighs> you know I only tolerate him because of you, Em. Lately, it feels like he has been stalking you. What? My brother is everything but a stalker. Everything? He's just being overprotective of me like he always has. He may not have been the one you like the best, he may not have been the most interesting, but he is the closest and probably the dearest to me. Ouch! That hurt, Em. <sighs> Mia... All I am saying is that it feels funny. I can't help but think that he is forcing himself to be happy for you and be happy around you. Don't you get that feeling? No, and you will bury this case right here. We are not Thor, Hela and Loki here. Okay, that did not make sense, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I hear your brother complex loud and clear. Just trust me and give Harry the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> no, Harry knows I have his back. Let it just be put on record that he had my back too. Case closed. Be careful, Emily. Sometimes it's the one closest to you. Who can destroy you the most? Sometimes it's friends, family. It's not always a romantic relationship that can leave you with a broken heart. It was only one time. <laughs> that you were sober and overprotective of me just because my classmates invited me for lunch. In his house, after class, and especially when we had another class right after. I politely declined. After I begged you to check his Instagram. <laughs> yes, and I apologize for not noticing that his big ego is bigger than his brain. <laughs> the nerve! He wanted to bribe your heart with an iPhone like a sugar daddy. Romance is dead. I won't lie and say that Harry's okay. When I think about it now, he's been keeping secrets. You can't fight every battle for him, especially when they are his battles, Em. <sighs> he ran away from home once, and I'm not going to stand and watch him run out of my life again. All I'm saying is that he needs to take a step and confront you about what he's struggling with. You care for him and you know he has been keeping secrets. I remember you told me that he confronted your mum and dad about being treated unfairly when he came back from the hospital. It was a conversation that your family needed. I am worried about him. Coca-Cola? On second thought, iced tea. <laughs> Good, because you would be paying for the Coca-Cola. But iced tea? That's on me. You're cold. Not as cold as the midterms. Iced tea at the library while we study? Yes, sister. Onwards, cool cats. You need to work on the name for our group.
Ah, dude, did you just fall asleep while we're studying for midterms? Uh, hello? <laughs> hey, Emily. Emily? Hold your horse. <laughs> Actually, hold all your horses. I don't have a horse. <laughs> but you'll run like one if you see your sister. Ugh, can you shut up about her? Everyone in college talks about her. I'm so sick of it. Emily this, Emily that. I get it, okay? I do. She's popular. She's all the attention, has friends, is good at sports, good at studies, and the list goes on. When you're the older brother and don't even have half of that, forget it. You won't understand, Alex. Ah, that's just it. I do. Fame in college never made anyone happy. The last thing that you want to be is a jock if you're good at sports. Thirdly, you do not want to stay up at night doing someone's assignments and taking all the credit for your hard work. As for friends, what am I, a potato? Like I said, you don't have a sister or a brother, so you won't understand where I'm coming from. What you just said makes no sense. I'm not trying to be a jock. I'm not trying to be a bookworm. I am definitely not going to do someone's work when I can finally manage to get good grades now. <laughs> and who do you have to thank for that, mister? I don't want you to speak of Emily in this household, but I also care about her. You suck. <laughs> Your face sucks. Quit sulking and have a pack of Dynamata's flaming Hot Queso Flavored Doritos. One chip is perfect for an extra kick of spice in your jealousy. Oh, the packaging also comes in green because you're green with jealousy. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. Emily gets praise. You're a loser. <laughs> but that's just it, my friend. It takes a loser to know a loser. And we are definitely losers. Not a jock, not a nerd, not a popular guy, but... Yeah, losers. You signed up for the fraternity, and your sister earned a spot in the Cool Cats. <sighs> Can I have a Dynamita? Did you know that their acceptance rate is only 3.9%? She's in one of the toughest sororities, and if she was my sister, I'd be proud. Plus, she can study for free! One of the benefits of studying in Freedom College. Now that's what I would definitely call a cool cat. You need to work on your puns. They are lame. Your face is lame! And here's your dynamita. Huh, about time. Ah, <sighs> it's about time you realize that chasing after your role model shadow will make you lose yourself. You told me that you ran away from your home because you were being treated unfairly by your parents. But now, it looks like you're the one treating yourself unfairly. On one hand, your sister works and studies hard. And on the other hand, you work and study hard in the department of lack of confidence. Where'd you get that line from? Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix? Unoriginal. <laughs> Look who's talking! What's unoriginal is playing Tom and Jerry with your sister's successful life. I don't want to say this, but you're no different than Daniel and Callum. Remember when they bullied you and your sister? You're becoming like Callum. I hope you know Dumb and Dumber. You're dumb, but you can stop yourself from becoming dumber. Can you quit making movie references? And can you quit being a jerk to someone who loves you so much? You saved your sister once from Daniel and Callum. Don't make the mistake of saving her again because she would be more hurt by the fact that her own brother doesn't want her to succeed. I think it's you who needs saving, Harry. And you've become someone who you're not. You don't know anything, do- Don't lie to me, Harry. We've been tight for years. Imagine my surprise when you enrolled in the same college as me without me knowing. 
You always sucked at communicating. Now it's time for you to face your problems rather than running away from them. You waste time planning on how to make your sister ditch classes, changing her calendar, calling her friends, and spreading rumors about her. Let's not forget... That's a low blow, Alex. Get out of my sight! Ah, Harry, pushing your friends when they want to help is unwise. But then again, every decision you've made is unwise. I hope you know that if there was a world record for being an idiot, then you've just won it on Guinness World Records. Ah, peace out, brother. Be cool. You only have one day off before the midterms. Try not to create a scene when you visit your parents with Emily. I know you're the oldest, but now you have a responsibility to fulfill. As good old Uncle Ben used to say, with great power comes great... Get out of here before I spoil Spider-Man No Way Home for you. Ah, not cool, brother, not cool. And hey, say hi to your family and say hi to your sister. This time, try not to make it harder for your sister to study. She's lucky that Mia had her notes for the midterms. From what I hear, she's really looking forward to it. Don't do anything stupid. How can I? You're taking all the stupid with you. I'm impressed you watched Avengers Endgame. The irony in what I will say next, we're in the Endgame now. We have a maths exam the day after tomorrow. Is that my sweetheart, I hear? Hey! Why are you still in your pajamas? <sighs> Mom, we visit for one day and you have a whole library of questions for me. What about Emily? Harry, you're awake at 6am while your sister is fast asleep. That's funny. Didn't you say you had a video interview today? Yeah, I think the company's not a good fit for my goals and needs. There's no career progression, so I... It's an internship for experience, and it is better than staying at home and watching the RB Battles Championship. Yep, this month, 16 of my favorite Roblox YouTubers will be battling it out in the most epic tournament of all time. How can I not watch this? Also, they pay like 20 bucks an hour. Nobody would work for that amount. Nobody. Oh, but someone who has bills to pay would. Then go ask Emily. She's the star of the family, isn't she? Honey, that's not what I... Oh, darling, at least shut the door to the bedroom when you walk out. Hey, Dad. Ready for the midterms? Ready now more than ever, Dad. I just have to ask Emily to test me. That's a spirit. I am always afraid to say anything in fear that he may walk out one day and never come back. Ah, oh, he's not a kid anymore, and he needs to learn on his own. He brought up Emily again. Yes, and he just went up to talk to her. Ah, <sighs> his eyes were the same as back then. There is something he is not telling, and you know what happened long ago. You're being paranoid now. You watch too many dramas. Did my newspaper come in this morning or did a crow snatch it away again? Oh, 
focus, Harry. Flush me his notes in the toilet and then call me it to invite Emily for a group study session. Emily's test is today, and this time I'll be at the top. Everyone will notice me. I am done being nice to you. Thing I don't have holes like Swiss cheese in my hands. Harry, what are you? Oh, hey, I just wanted to wish you good luck for your midterms. Uh, English exam, right? Thank you, Harry. I think we need to talk. Mia wanted me to let you know to come to the library today. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go now. Don't stay up and eat candy. It won't make you go to Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. I miss watching Courage the Cowardly Dog with you. Maybe we should... We aren't kids anymore, Emily. But it's what got us close. Time to call Mia and then flush the notes. Notes flushed? Mia didn't answer. Classic. Me and Mia met up in the library. I knew Harry was suspicious when he was in my room, but I couldn't accuse him. I realized later that Mia was right. I tried confronting him, trying to be as close to him as we were before, but he always shuts down my attempts. Why did you do this to me, Harry? Are you finally happy now? After this, you're just the same as Daniel and Callum. Em, we have a test in five minutes. I can't find my notes. Didn't I give you mine? I thought they were in my drawer until my brother came to... M, do you have a digital backup of your notes? No, it's always a physical copy. Breathe. Did you memorize what came for the test? I always study my notes before complete a revision. You will be fine. I believe in you. It's time. Please let it be easy. Sorry, not sorry, Emily. You had it coming to you. I'll win now, and I'll be the golden sun. Higher, Dad, I want to go higher. Uh, Henry, baby, it's time. Don't go too fast. Ah! You missed one. Ah! 
so you don't have time for me, but you have time for Emily. How dare you! But I hate all of you. I won't have to see Mom, Dad, or Emily again.